Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell right next to it. That way you'll be notified when I upload videos and you won't miss a thing. All right. Now, this is a special Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. KJK uh, sent me a comment saying how to avoid irritation. And we're going to just go ahead and do that for him. He's made, made it through two shaves, and hopefully the next shave will be even better. All right. So I started. I'm going to start with Parasso Pre-Shave, guys. This is actually a marvelous thing. You have to prep is everything with this. So I just got out of the shower, hydrated my beard. I put on the pre-shave as well, okay? And let me just walk through everything we're using and then we'll talk more. So we're going to be using Parasso Green and this is the eucalyptus and menthol. It is awesome. It is really a great soap and it is a towel-based soap which will help as well with, um, you know, irritation, things like that. It seems to be really slick and has a wonderful uh, cushion. And then uh, for my razor tonight, we're going to use this magnetic silver steel again. I did just a marvelous shave the other day, so I'm looking forward to that. This is just a great razor, guys out of the 1930s, early 1930s. That is a full hollow and it is silver steel, which is just really cool, okay? And now for our brush tonight, we're using the Omega 10,098. Now I have had the uh, soap blooming, so we're gonna pour off that bloom water and again, I put that on as a pre-shave. Um, anything you can do for prep is going to be really good. You know, hydrate that beard. That makes it easier to cut. Uh, from all the research I've done, I've found that your whiskers dry or have the same tensile strength as a uh, copper wire of the same diameter. But once you do prep work on it, then they soften up and it's much easier to shave. And you'll get a better shave and more comfortable shave. So now I'm going to get most of that water out of this brush. And we're going to load up that brush. So guys, tell me how you're doing. You know, it's really great to hear from you and have all the comments and things like that. Um, I really enjoy it. So keep it up. Uh, hopefully you're having a good week. We made it to Wednesday. Uh, here it uh, snowed really big uh, on Tuesday. And we're having to uh, kind of deal with that. But that's all right. You know, it's the middle of March. It can't last long. It'll warm up and everything will go away. So it'll be good. All right. So now, hopefully your work is going well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you guys are good. Hopefully you're good and uh, well. Now I'm going to put on the rest of that that was just kind of on the outside that little bowl. Again, I believe in in prep. Prep is everything. You know, you need a sharp razor as well, but you know, that prep can make all the difference in the world. All right. So, there's that. And Now, I normally, you know, build a, a good lather right on my face. Um, I know other people that do uh, lather bowl or, or bowl lather. 
Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, I find this really satisfying. And you really are working those whiskers when you're doing this. And again, it's the prep. It is all the prep. So thank you so much for your comment. And hopefully by the time this is done, it will be helpful. All right, now this is going to be a one pass shave. All right, uh, what I'm going to say is go ahead and just do that one pass when you start. Uh, I have a whole series of videos on uh, shaving right from uh, the pre shave to the post shave routines, all of that. Uh, check that out as well, it's in a playlist for you. Now, what I'm going to suggest, though, is only do one pass and make it with the grain. That's it. All right, so let's do it. Now, I'm going to be stretching like this. You know, stretching is so important that uh, it will help you get a comfortable shave. Now, plus, that blade, if you lay it flat and then cock it, to a 30 degree angle and I don't know if you could actually see that but you lay it flat and then cock it you want 30 degrees or less and for me that's normally about the width of the spine all right so something like that see it there you go maybe you can see that and then we're just going to go with the grain Now the thing is, if you're coming in at more of an angle like this, you're going to be scraping and that's just going to irritate your skin. You need to have that, that angle, something like that right there, you know, about the width of the spine and that'll give you a decent angle uh, for when you shave and it'll be a lot more comfortable. All right, so now notice here I went down here, went across this way because that's the way my beard grows for uh, with the grain. So you have to figure that out. And now you see I'm contorting my face, trying to get that skin taut. You don't want it too tight, but it needs to be taut. And here on the chin, that blade is almost flat. It just works better for me that way. And short strokes. You don't need to do the whole thing at once. Just short strokes as long as it's controllable. There you go, good cushion, nice and slick. Uh, 
hopefully you can find something like that where you are. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully uh, all of this is going to be helpful. Just take it slow and easy. And I guess the next thing I would say right at about this point is, uh, you know, everybody out there seems to be chasing the BBS, the baby butt smooth. Listen, it for me, it's about comfort. Okay, I get a really good shave. And for me, it's all about comfort. So I would say if I were you, I would go ahead and work on the comfort side first. There you go, see that angle? Work on the comfort side first and then go from there to see how close of a shave you can get. But Make it comfortable and enjoyable to start with. You know, it's got more to do with being comfortable than the baby's butt smooth thing. You know, BBS is good, but it's overrated as well. And look at this beautiful, beautiful soap. And I'm always stretching with that off hand. Okay. Now, I'm going to get that razor cleaned off. Finish up. Okay, may have got that little bump there just a little tiny bit. Got to be careful. All right, now let's go ahead and rinse that off. Yeah, I did. I caught that little bump. Oh well, doesn't happen very often. So, there we go. Now, I am going to put alum everywhere. That alum is going to take care of that little bump, and that'll be fine. All right, there we go. Next, I'm going to suggest after the alum, which is great for toning the skin and getting those pores 
sorted. Uh, some kind of witch hazel. I personally like Thayer's. Um, I, they have wonderful scents. I don't know what you can get where you are. But if you can get it, I would say give it a try. And if not, you know, you can go down to your local pharmacy and find witch hazel as well. And that will do the trick. It just won't smell as good as this. All right, so I put witch hazel everywhere. And that is going to help uh, with that skin as well. Tone it, make it better. Everything will be fine. Now, I'm going to use Parasso. And I'm going to do this in a couple of stages. But now this is the Parasso, okay, lotion or face tonic. Really good. You could use this just by itself as well. Now, the Witch Hazel doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is one of the reasons why I like that. And now this has a wonderful scent. And it's got a bit of alcohol. So, but it's still toning and it's still got a, a face tonic because it's got an, a nice uh, uh, mixture as far as that goes. Now, to top it off, I would always go with some kind of a bomb if you can tolerate it. Okay, now this again is the Parasso Green Bomb and you know, it really is a wonderful aftershave balm type thing. And it's creamy and puts that moisture back in the skin. It is really wonderful. Okay. So I would put that on next. Some kind of balm. And there you have it. Another shave in the books. Hopefully, uh, KJK, you found that helpful, and this was going to give you uh, less irritating of a shave. Now, I would start and just do one pass, just with the grain. Do that, get comfortable, get where that works for you. Then, move on. But now, if, you, if this isn't good enough for you, now for me, actually, that right there, is passable. I can go to work just like that and it's fine. So if you can get away with that, just do that. And if you can't, you know, switch back to, you know, your DE. Not, you know, there's no rules. Switch back to the DE, get that BBS, and uh, you're good to go. And just keep practicing with that straight razor. All right. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see the latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.